Emmanuel, God is with us. Emmanuel, God is with us. First thing I did was go shopping. So this is a Dollar Tree haul. This is a rain gauge. You need to know how much water you have before you water. If you don't need to water, why water? You might actually have too much water, okay? So this is just a cheap rain gauge and they show you how to put it together so you can read the water on it. You can hang it on the wall, put it in the ground. It's made in China. That's most of the Dollar Tree are at this time. Got myself a hat because it's hot out here. You need to protect yourself from the sun so that you don't pass out and um, end your gardening season short because of you know, not taking care of yourself. Next, um, I picked up a few flowers because they're 25 cents. Yeah, 25 cent flower garden. Some Cosmos. Cosmos can take the heat. These are from South Africa, so they can take both heat and drought and um, bugs don't like to eat them. This is our prize. This is our rain gadget. I'm gonna just demonstrate this today. This water hose I got from the dollar store. I consider it quite a fine, highly recommended. This is not a sponsored video. You guys know the dollar store, to the best of my knowledge, is made in China or um, made in Canada. Let me see, was it made in Canada or China? Y'all check it again. Any event, I got some marigolds. Marigolds can take the heat. Marigolds are from Mexico. They like water, but they can take heat and drought. Petunias, don't plant those now. Unless you live in a place where there's lots of water, you can plant those in places with lots of water. Uh, Shasta daisies, I think everybody can plant Shasta daisies whenever you feel like it. They're a perennial in my area, but they're a wonderful flower to have everywhere. Some poppies, I'm gonna plant those next year and some snapdragons. Those will be for springtime. Spring is their season. Let's see what else we got in this bag. Um, just a little gadget my mom wanted, you know, an extra little plug and everything. So you guys, that's everything made in Canada. Now, look at this, look at this, look at this. Uh, you just simply attach this whole detachment to your hose your it's designed to fit your hose now i'm going to tell you up front it took me two or three times because you know this is a little cheap thing made in china for me to get it to fit right now i'm going to show you that whole process that's the first setting there that's the soaker setting you know if you want to soak something then you just twist a little cap there twist it to something else at this point i've just got it and i don't know what I'm doing yet, so that's the soaker setting, and I'm going, what is that? I now use the soaker setting to water my um, containers. It's really good for that. So I changed it again. See what we get? Uh, I'm like, what is going on with this cheap thing I got from the dollar store? And now, okay, you have to give it this time. When you get it, that's why I'm showing you this. Oh, this little break. This is a bird in my garden that is going around eating all my tomato hornworms and picking off excess caterpillars. Some caterpillars will live to be grown, but everybody's not going to make it because this little bird has learned that there is a buffet in these bushes. And um, so he's, he's doing, the caterpillar population is doing what it's supposed to do with him. You know, it's feeding the world. Now we go settings. on here. This one to, uh, says watering the hose, our new hose. You see that? But it, that's, I've got it set on now I'm learning how to use it. That says shower. This is from the Dollar Tree. Let's see what happens. That's the shower. Yeah, I had to learn how to use it. Yeah, that's shower. That's what the shower says. And I'm like, oh, okay. These little words mean something. Yeah. And I paid a dollar for this. I to keep those berries oh, together. You know, if you go into the big box stores and buy your watering hose, 
They have these cheap made in China hoses for um, sometimes $20. So this is pretty good. Okay, so here I am watering. You want to give two to three minutes of water per area so that you make sure you get water to the roots of your plant. I am in Southern California and I am doing something that every gardener that I see on YouTube says not to do. But if you don't do this in Southern California, your plants are going to suffer. I am watering my leaves. The air is extremely dry. This is a desert environment. Please don't follow rules where people have 70% humidity. So I'm going to give you another thing you need to look at when you determine how to follow some advice. If the person giving you that advice then don't water the leaves of your plants because it will cause um, mildew and disease. Check and see. And you see water coming out there, that means I'm good for that one. Go to the next area. Check and see what the humidity is in their area. Check and see what the humidity is in your area. If the humidity in their area says 70%, 80%, 90%, if they're getting rain every week, so their leaves are getting fuller fed and washed every week, and then you check, I'm watering my trees the leaves so it'll mimic some rain to keep them clean and keep down the spiders yeah i'm keeping down the spider population not trying to discount the spiders to see all the little bugs that are coming out when i do that this is how you water in a desert you must water your leaves once a week there's no rain guys you're listening people. I mean, I was guilty of it. I was very unsuccessful in gardening in my area because I was listening to people give advice on what to do in my area and their humidity was much higher than mine. One of the things I have to do in my garden in Southern California is to create humidity in the summertime. The summertime is the driest, most arid condition of the year. So I have to create some humidity in the garden. I if I can get it to 30% above what it was before, then these plants will do very well. And I do that in a variety of ways. But since these plants are getting kind of full sun right now, I'm watering them. These are root plants, so I really don't have to water them. But I have planted flowers amongst them, and I'm going to continue that. See how dry those flowers are? See how dry that air is? See how they're just hanging in there? Trying to make it. And these are drought tolerant plants. But this will keep them alive. You know. And they only get a good watering like this once a week. See the rainbow? This is the only rain they're going to get. So all those people telling you not to water the leaves. Check and see when's the last time they had rain. And compare it to when you had rain. Check how much rain they are getting versus you. Are they getting 19 inches of rain in a week and you're getting a hundredth of an inch? Well then, you're taking advice from somebody whose nature is doing it for them. I have to clean my trees. You know, otherwise they'll be dusty. There's no summer rain here. You know, we had a, a hundredth of an inch, and I recorded it on video for you. I got to get this across to you, because if you're going to be successful in a desert garden, in a semi-desert garden, in an arid region, region you're going to have to do things that make sense. You're going to have to create the environment that are good for the plants that you're growing. Look at my poor strawberries. And they're bearing fruit right now. You know, you will hear people saying, don't water your plants when they're bearing fruit. Those are people who get rain usually once a week. They have extreme humidity in the air. You guys, if I had dew in the morning, 
I would count that as some kind of rain. We don't get morning dew. You know how you talk about morning dew? You go out here, I'm in Los Angeles County, you go out in the morning and look at the plants, there's no dew. If there's some dew on the plants, we call that rain. A hundredth of an inch of rain. Dew is way higher than that. So, just giving them two or three minutes so that that water can get to the root. And if I didn't do this, as you can see, that'd be it. They can't make it, you know, and fruit and provide for you if you don't balance the scales for them. Now, you guys, I have to admit, I don't have the disease pressure that other people have because there's no humidity for those diseases to live. I don't have the bugs that other people talk about, no mosquitoes. They don't have a home. But, um, and this setting I'm using is a shower setting. This is for close-up watering, and I can water my planters with this too. Giving the leaves a shower. And go in there. I'm going to change the setting. See them? What do I care? That is probably the tomato hornworm. If it's not the tomato hornworm, then it is the um, cabbage worm. I got tons of those. I'm eating just fine, guys. I got a ton of food. I don't have to worry about it. You know what? If you run around killing everything, you're, you're eating those toxins too. You see these leaves? They're doing everything they need to do. So, I'm good with it. Okay, so now we're gonna do jet. I'll show you how jet looks. It'll be easy peasy. And jet is used to water at a distance. Now, I'm using the jet because the bees are over there pollinating stuff. And they actually ran me out of the air. Jesus loves you and I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful.